So here we have the Citroen C4 Cactus on a 21 place. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it. From the outside, you can see it's a five door car with those black alloy wheels and tinted windows. We're gonna start off inside the boot area of the car, first of all. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further again. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car, and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it. Now that we've done a full circle though, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. We have the digital readout for the speedometer, the total miles for the car, which are 18,184. Uh, also there, you have the fuel gauge as well. If we back out to the steering wheel, we have our stereo and phone controls out here, as well as cruise control and speed limiter. Over in the center, you then have the touch screen for the car. So AM radio, as you can see, FM and DAB radio as well. Uh, you can access your various different uh, musical sources, if you like, over on this left-hand side. You can also connect up a USB input to listen to your own music. Uh, and if you wish to, uh, you've got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto available as well, which opens up a whole host of other options, of course. Uh, this vehicle does have its own inbuilt sat-nav, which you can see just there. You can also get your climate control settings up on here as well. So you can adjust the temperature, the fan speed, and the direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. The air conditioning's on at the minute, so that's off, back on again. You can hit auto if you wish to. And you can hear the car is just taking control of the fan speed and direction of the air. Any manual intervention will turn auto off and allow you to put it back on your own settings, as you can see. Beneath that, we have the main volume for the stereo. Uh, that button will take you straight into the climate control menu. We have a 12 volt charging socket, the USB input that I mentioned just a moment ago, two cup holders, and also a six speed manual gearbox. Last thing I wanted to mention is the panoramic glass roof you see just here. It's a fixed uh, section of glass, but as you can see on the video here, it lets in a huge amount of extra light to the cabin area. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Glenbournes. We'd love to hear from you soon.